Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a review video on a bunch of L'Oreal products that I picked up, um, I guess last week. And I did a haul video sharing with you guys all the new products that I picked up. And I also did a haul on all the new Wet n Wild products that I picked up. So if you haven't seen either one of those hauls, I will link them down in the description box. But today I'm going to be like I said, doing a review and like a first impression on all of the L'Oreal products that I picked up, minus um, the little brow pencil, because I'm going to do a Saver Splurge with this pencil and the Anastasia Brow Wiz. At the very end of this video, I'm going to come back a week later and give you a full review on everything and let you guys know how these products held up over the week of me using them and if I changed my thoughts about them, then how I felt about them in the first impression. If you guys would like to see my thoughts on all of these new L'Oreal products, I just was holding that completely strange. The mascara, these lip products. I also have like a brow product in like this contour palette. Um, just keep on watching the video and I'm going to go ahead and get into the review. The first product that I am going to use is this Brow Stylus Prep and Shape Pro Kit. And this is in the shade medium to dark. And I already applied my foundation and did my eyeshadow. So in case you were curious about that. And I'm actually going to use the little tools that came in this little kit. Um, it comes with like a little angled brush and spoolie just to see how it works. Um, I'm not going to use the tweezers today because I don't really need to tweeze my eyebrows right now. Um, so, okay, first let's use the little spoolie with this to comb through my brows. Now I'm going to go in with a little waxy side here in the angle brush that came this little palette. So I'm just kind of going over my brows, you know, shaping them out a little bit. And since this product isn't super tinted, I think it's mainly, like it said, it's supposed to like prep your brows for the powder. Then I'm going to go in with the powder side and the same little angle brush that came with this little kit. I'm going to use a little spoolie side to brush through. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder and just lightly run it through the front of my eyebrows. I'm just going to comb through my brows. I'm just going to fill in the front part of this brow over here lightly. That's what my brows look like completed with this product. I do like this. I feel like it worked really good. I don't know if I would go through the trouble of using the wax product every time I used this used this product I probably would just use the powder and then just set my brows with like a brow gel um like one of my tinted brow gels um yeah because I feel like that just took too long to put down the wax and then the powder um it also says on here I forgot to read this um pigmented wax prepares the brow for the setting powder and it says holds the brows in shape for up to 12 hours i don't know i guess i'll see over a week how i feel with this product if the wax really holds them in place or not next i'm going to go ahead and break into the mascara and this was one of the products that i haven't used yet so it's going to be a true first impression on this and the color is called flash reflecting black um, and this product is supposed to have primer and then the mascara, a super extending ultra, oh, I'm sorry, super extending mascara. And this is the Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black Mascara. Before I go in with the primer with that mascara, I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes up. And the primer brush just looks like this with, you know, the white primer mascara stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with a good coat of this primer. I'm 
Okay, I feel like the primer has dried enough now, and I'm gonna go in with the second side here. And this is what the brush looks like. It's just a bristly brush, and it does have a slight curve to it. I feel like I was having a little bit of trouble getting it to like cover the tips of my lashes, but it seems like it's working okay now. It doesn't feel like a super wet mascara. Um, I feel like I like the way it looks. I don't know if it's making my lashes look super long, but I do feel like it's giving them some decent volume. Okay, so that is the first coat of this mascara. So now I'm just gonna go in with the second coat on this eye. Okay, and then this is the second coat of mascara on this eye here. And then this is the eye that just has the primer. So I do like the way that it looks. I do feel like it gave my lashes quite a bit of volume um, and a decent amount of length, I feel like. Um, let me go ahead and do this eye. This is the mascara on both of my eyes and on my lower lashes. First impression wise, like I'm really impressed by this mascara. So yeah, I really, really like this. I'm going to go ahead and use the Infallible Pro Contour, and this is the Contour and Highlight Palette. And this was another one of the products that I have already used, um, but I really, really have been enjoying this product a lot um, over the past few days that I have been using this. Um, so first, I'm gonna go in with the contour, and I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. contour brush. And this contour in this palette is a really good contour for me. Like, it's not too cool toned and it's not too warm toned. It's like, it's perfect. Um, so if you're the same kind of skin tone and coloring as me, this should be a really good one, a really good contour. And this is in medium. I know that they had light and dark, but medium looked to be a better contour shade for me, and I do feel like it is. So that's what the contour looks like there. I mean, it's nothing super intense or anything. And then I'm just gonna take some down here, the sides of my nose. And then um, I am going to take this e.l.f. Ultimate Kabuki brush, get some of this contour on there. And I'm just going to kind of contour up here around my hairline a little bit. Nothing like super dramatic just to bring a little bit of definition there. And I also really have been enjoying the highlight in this. Um, it's a really good highlight shade for me. Like it's not too shimmery and um, I don't know, I hope you can see it. It's just a really nice highlight. Um, and I feel like that shade looks really natural on my skin. It comes with this brush here that you're supposed to use, um, you know, to go like this and then put it on like that. But usually that whole situation doesn't work out too well. Um, I guess I could kind of see if it does. I mean, I guess it does a little bit with that brush. but it just makes it really super intense if you do it that way. So, I mean, I guess it does work that way, but I would never use that brush like that to apply it. Um, so yeah, I feel like they could have done without making the packaging so bulky. And as you can see, like it is a little powdery, especially when you use that brush with it. Then the last Two products that I have to try out are these Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. Um, and I have the shade Bear Attraction and Aphrodite, Ki Aphrodite, Aphrodite Kiss is this one. And I guess I'll put each one on my lips so you can see what they look like. Um, I'll go in with this Bear Attraction one first and see. Oh, and the little brushes like this. I love brushes like this from L'Oreal. Um, I find that they're super easy to apply the product um, when they're shaped like this. Okay, so this is Bare Attraction on my lips, and I really like this color. I think it looks really natural, or it looks like a real natural lip color, and the formula, it just feels really creamy and comfortable. I'm actually 
Sorry, my camera just went out of focus. I'm actually really impressed by the texture of this formula. And here's Aphrodite. Aphrodite's Kiss. I don't know if it's Aphrodite or Aphrodite. I'm pretty sure it's Aphrodite Kiss. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this color a lot. It is so pretty. Even though these pro matte glosses say that they're matte, they do have a little bit of a gloss to them. They're not like super, super matte. Um, so for me, I find that I like that in a matte um, gloss or lipstick better to have like a little bit of a satin finish to it because if it is like super super matte um, it tends to just like cling to all the lines and stuff on my lips or like dry patches so those types of lipsticks tend to not work for me but I definitely feel like the formulation of these are gonna be really nice and they're gonna hold up for a long time hopefully you can see it on my phone there but today is January the 6th so I will see you guys here in a week and give you a full review on all these L'Oreal products. Hey guys, welcome back. So it has been a week since I filmed my first impression thoughts on all these L'Oreal products. And just to show you guys the date, if you look on my phone, hopefully you can see there, it is January the 13th. Um, so yeah. I really like all these L'Oreal products so far. Um, I would definitely give all of them five stars. With the lip products, I do like these, but after they have been on your lips for about three or four hours, they do tend to kind of make your lips feel a little dry. So if you have lips that have a tendency to get really, really dry, these may not be the products for you, like lip products. Um, today I'm wearing the nude one. With these lip products, you definitely have to use a lip liner with them because throughout the day they have a tendency to bleed out a little bit, especially this bright color has a tendency to do that. Um, with these lip products, they last on my lips three to four hours and then at that point I need to touch it up with this bright pink color it does stain your lips pretty good so it will last longer than four hours at least the color um, the lip product itself doesn't really last over four hours but the stain <laughs> will last on your lips quite a while so I do like these a lot um, yeah, so that's my thoughts, thoughts on these. I would definitely give these five stars. With the mascara, I was very impressed by this mascara and I really like it. I didn't know how I would feel with the primer, but I really like the primer in this mascara. I feel like it does an awesome job of giving my lashes a lot of volume and length. I don't have any issues whatsoever with this product smudging, even here on the lower lashes, which is awesome because I know most mascaras tend to smudge on me here. Um, so yeah, I don't have any issues with that. It doesn't flake. Um, so yeah, all around, I really like this mascara and honestly, I'm surprised. With the Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Pro Kit, I do really like this product. I have it on my brows today. I also have this mascara on today too. Um, I know it's probably a little harder to see the mascara since I have eyeliner on today and when I filmed my first impression, I didn't. Um, with this brow product, I do really like it. I like the waxy stuff and the powder used together. It really makes your brows look um, ombre if you do it right. Um, and I do find that my brows stay in place all day and I don't have to use a brow gel whenever I use this um, waxy product on first before I put the powder product on. With the last product, the Infallible Pro Contour Contour and Highlight Palette, I really, really like this. I think it is a really good contouring and highlighting palette. Um, I'm wearing it today as my contour and as my highlight. I've been enjoying this so much. I wish the packaging wasn't super bulky. I find that with this, it lasts all day. Um, it doesn't get patchy or anything like that. You know, when you go to blend the contour out, you know, some contours have a tendency to get kind of splotchy. This one doesn't do that. Um, it's super easy to blend out. So yeah, though, that is my thoughts on all these products. So if maybe you guys have some other questions about these products that maybe I didn't answer in this review video, let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to get back to your comments and questions. 
Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you all did, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up or let me know down in the comments. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.